A river may separate these two towns, but there's a divide that runs much deeper. Let's go, over football. Since 1905, the annual Easton Phillipsburg game has fired up fans. A touchdown. But no one here can forget 1993, which ended in a tie. This one is over. Seven, seven. And for 15 years, that unresolved game has remained unfinished business. <laughs> until now. This weekend, the very same players, even the same cheerleaders, got the chance to turn back time and replay the game. 10,000 tickets sold out in 90 minutes. No one wanted to miss the chance to settle the score. Here he is. There's Bobby there right is. here. That's your son? Yeah. The first practice they came back from this, he came home with two ice bags on his groin. Some have a little less here, Others a little more there. You lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. How much? I lost uh, 57 pounds for this process. Oh, wow, God. just to play in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for eight weeks, they trained hard, thanks to sponsorship from Gatorade and superstar supervision from the Manning brothers. Were there games you'd like to replay? Plenty, plenty, <laughs> believe me. But you know, that's the thing about it. I play every game as if it's going to be my last. As young men, they played for the love of the game. This time, it's about much more. Jason Sees recently lost his mother. She'd be proud right now to be here, see me playing this, you know, knowing I'm finally getting what I want. It's not often in life you get a do-over. Real happened at the right time. What do you mean by that? Well, everything is so, everybody is so down and so depressed. And this was such a lift. <laughs> In the end, Phillipsburg won 27-12, but it hardly mattered. You guys are family, man. Because for a change, these Rust Belt towns had something to cheer about. Seth Doan, CBS News, Easton, Pennsylvania.